first vessel we recorded was a 21-foot-long gas boat formerly owned by Earl Slick of the Pine Island and Narrows Island Hunting Clubs. Slick commissioned this boat to be built by locally renowned boat builder Pat O'Neill of Coinjock, North Carolina. Slick's boat, built in 1972, utilized the concave tunnel hull design pioneered by O'Neill along the Outer Banks. The concave tunnel hull design has potential ties to the World War II Higgins boat, which was used most notably during the war for landing soldiers onto foreign beaches. The defining characteristic of this wooden craft is the unique tunnel hull shape that utilizes the twisting transition of the hull planks amidships, which bend out and up, forming a tunnel that increases the efficiency of the engine and hull. This particular adaptation is properly suited for the shallow waters of the Kuratuk Sound, which range from a maximum of 5 or 6 feet to a mere inches. The other vessel we recorded was a 32-foot shad boat once owned by Ambrose Hambone Twyford of Kuratuk County. This boat, built in 1906 by celebrated builder W. Otis Doe of Manio, North Carolina, is one of the few remaining examples of a North Carolina shad boat. In 1986, the North Carolina General Assembly recognized the shad boat as the state's official historic boat for its versatility, resilience, and design unique to North Carolina. This boat, like many built after the first decade of the 20th century, had an engine in place of a sailing rig. Both of these boats were used as recreational vessels as well as for the fishing and duck hunting industries which defined coastal historic Currituck County throughout most of the 20th century. Each boat is no longer seaworthy, but are fully restored for display purposes in the Currituck Heritage Park. <music> Maritime Heritage Fellows Ryan Bradley and Jeremy Borelli were able to digitally map both vessels using a Topcon total station. After establishing numerous datums, or fixed spatial control points, around the area of both vessels, the fellows were able to digitally collect additional points on each structural feature of both boats. Once the numerous points were collected, they were exported to the Rhinoceros 3D computer program. It was in Rhino 3D where the business of connecting the dots began. Like defining constellations out of stars in the sky, the dots were connected using lines and curves on Rhino. Surfaces were then inserted between each curve, and finally the surfaces were rendered to recreate the actual textures of the boat. After eight weeks of fieldwork and reconstruction, a structurally complete three-dimensional model of each vessel emerged. In addition to fieldwork, the research fellows met with several individuals, including Currituck locals Travis Morris and Carl Ross, who possessed invaluable information pertaining to the construction, design, and use of these vernacular craft. These 3D models can now be used as education and outreach tools for teaching the public about the tradition and culture of boating and boat building unique to the Outer Banks in Currituck County.